Hey guys, so today I have um, a review for you. Hard Candy had sent me some products to review, and two of them I actually already had, so I can give a real true review, and I'm also going to review all of the Hard Candy products that I have. Some I've bought, some they've sent to me, um, but it's going to be my opinion, so. Um, the first thing is the Ab Fab eyeshadows. Now, um, I've used this n a number, a number of times, and I really like the Hard Candy eyeshadows. I want more, and I'm totally going to get some more, uh, but I uh, think this is a really good duo. Um, I will swatch it for you. And they're very, very, very pigmented. I actually used this duo in a contest entry that I placed first in wearable, so I totally recommend this. Very shimmery, very, very pretty. Two, I mean, two of the best pinks and purples that I have in my collection. They're baked, you can use them wet, you can use them dry. Hard candy is not tested on animals, so that is cool. I love this. I think this is awesome. Um, the next thing is the um, <clears throat> Hard Candy Thousand Lash Lash Adhesive. Now, I like these. I have tried a lot of colored mascaras that I'm not particularly fond of. Um, and I have two of them right here. Uh, I had a purple one, but I sent it, I gave it away in a giveaway. So, um, the packaging looks like this. This was the one that they sent me, um, just now. And, um, then I have a pink one as well. And they have fiberized lash weave in them. I don't know if you can see that. This is the pink one. And they are very, very, very good. It makes your lashes long, and it totally gives them color. Um, with most colored mascaras, you have to wear some sort of white undercoat with them. With these, I don't find that I have to do that. Uh, the color payoff is very, very good. Um, I would put this on for you right now, but I already have my face done. Um... But I do really, 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 really like these. I'll show you on my arm. Let's see if I can do it on my arm. That way you can see the color. And I can just wash this off. Those are the hairs that are um, green. It did pick up a little bit on my skin, but it is green. I'll show you the pink, too. I should be putting... You know you can use these for in your hair, right? Colored mascaras you can use as, um, um, like, hair, uh, like, temporary hair color. See, and I'm just hitting the, hitting the hairs on my arm. This must be a terrible way to see mascara. It did make them pink. I just have bad camera. But they are very pigmented. Um, I really do like them, and now I have different colored hairs on them. And like I said, both of these, and I think all of the hard candy mascaras, except a few have, if you get them in these, the thousand lashes, um, they all have these little fiberized lash thingies. So if you're in the market for a colored mascara, and you don't want to go to Estee Lauder and pay for forty dollars or thirty something dollars I would try these out you can get um, hard candy at your 
Walmart. Um, they have an online site, but I don't, don't think that you can buy from there. So these are cool. And this was a product that I did not have from Hard Candy. This is one that they did send me, and I do like it quite a bit. I'm wearing it right now. This is the Lip Stain and Breath Freshening Gloss. Um, I'm wearing the lip stain over a lip color because my lips are so pigmented and they're around this color that it did not show up on me. But I will swatch it. It's very, 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 very light and the color is buildable, but it's mostly just shimmers like that. It's really just more shimmer than anything, but it's a nice peachy pink, um, and if you have less pigmented lips, I think this would work out really good. And then on the other side is really, really neat. I love, I love peppermint glosses. I'm wearing this right now, too, and I really, really, really love this. Now, I do have another hard candy gloss, um, and this I got from, um the rawness as a contest prize and this is the mouthing off gloss and I like this too. On to the products that I'm not so fond of and there are two just baby ones also came with this was a baby lip gloss and it's fine I have to get it out I thought I had out all of my hard candy products but I guess not here it is. Alright, this is the Volumizing Lip Plumper, or Volumizing Serum Gloss, and this is good too. This has a, it's kind of like a no smell, but it's supposed to be like a volumizing one. This one, I feel like, has more of a volumizing, because it has that peppermint thing to it, but this came with this from the rawness and this is in love dove um, it's a very pretty pink I'll swatch it they're pretty sheer like I'm having to go over it a couple times for to, so you could see it um, and you all know what clear gloss looks like okay the products that I'm not into <clears throat> the lash tinsel mascara this sucks it does not do anything for your lashes. It does not give them the uh, glitter that it's supposed to give. I'm not a huge fan of the lash tinsel. Um, and pretty much everyone that I've talked to that's tried it isn't a fan. So I would not purchase this. Um, and this one I like and I don't like. I hate the brush. Um, it's really thick. It's hard to get a good, um, precise line. It's, it's just difficult. And I have a very steady hand. I do precision work very well, but I find that this is just really hard. And it takes a really long time for this to dry as well. And this is the Walk the Line Liquid Eyeliner. Um, I haven't talked to anybody that has tried this, so, um... I might have gotten a bad one. It came with one of the mascaras when I bought um, them at Walmart. So, I really, I mean, the majority of the products that I have, that's all of my hard candy products, I really like. I want to try um, more of them. I want to try the concealer palette and um, a few other things from them, like the baked... Uh, blushes and bronzers and all that sort of thing but um there's a few there like these like the these two things I mean not fantastic but these are just samples they came free with it so I can't really you know complain too much they came free so but I figure since I'm going over a hard candy review I might as well incorporate everything um, that I know about the products, but you know, the eyeshadows are tremendous. Um, at least the ones that I, this one that I've tried, I really like it. And um, 
yeah, I'd give them a try, totally. And uh, I hope that you guys found this review helpful. And um, yeah, I will talk to all of you later. Uh, I